Hello Taurus, this is your X reading for the 31st through February 6th. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys, I really appreciate you. Let's see what your current situation is here. The Hermit, I feel like you're looking for answers. Um, I think you're looking for answers surrounding, you know, where do you go from here? Is this the right person for you? Um, are you doing the right thing? A lot of you, I think, are kind of removing yourselves from social situations and really just taking a moment to like reflect on where you've come from and I feel like where, where you really want to go. Where do you really want to be is what I'm getting here. Virgo energy there. Let's see what your ex's current situation is here. Ten of Swords. Hmm. I think this person feels really, um, they've been really hurt, okay? But I think, you know, now they're just trying to, to move past that. They're trying to put it aside and get up and go on and realize that, um, you know, this is not the end, okay? It may be the end of something that needed to end. Maybe the situation between you guys was not good. So, you know, but this is also, you know, the ending of ego, to be honest with you, because a lot of times we don't take into account, you know, the things that we have contributed, contributed in like the breakdown of certain situations and relationships. And I think this person is really kind of come, coming to grips with, you know, everything that has happened and um you know they're about to get up and, and keep it moving here okay but they do feel really betrayed really backstabbed um really hurt by um whatever happened here okay let's see what you think about your ex hmm. you think that they've moved on um that they're looking for other things looking for um not you you know, like they've moved on from you here. Maybe they're dating. Um, maybe they are traveling even. Maybe they've moved away from you. But the, the point is that I don't think that you guys feel that they are coming any closer to you. Okay? Maybe they're waiting on you to um, reveal something. But um, I, I think, you know, you feel like they have moved on. Um, on to other things, other people even okay let's see how your ex perceives you hmm. maybe that you've started a new relationship maybe that you're only thinking about yourself here maybe they think you guys are you know taking some time out to kind of um to heal and to like you know grow your spirituality um, you know, just kind of focus on yourself. They feel like you guys are like focusing on yourself primarily, which, which I see, you know, this is kind of what you're doing here with the hermit is, it's like you're trying to figure out, um, your path in life, where you're going. Okay. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here. I think you guys, um, you know, it was a struggle in this relationship with this person. There were a lot of things that went on that um, you didn't like, um, but there were a lot of things that you didn't like about this person as well. And I feel like um, at this point, this is what you're trying to figure out. Like, does the good outweigh the bad? You know, is this somebody that I really, you know, want to let go of permanently here? Do I want to take the chance of them being with someone else and, you know, I store our our story is just completely over here so I think a lot of you are really kind of reevaluating whether or not to go back to this person and um, you know just be willing to tough it out here okay let's see how your ex feels about getting back together here hmm I think this person is a little I don't think they're not willing to I think there's a lot that they feel like needs to be cleared up 
maybe why you guys walked away to begin with. Um, they feel like maybe you were out there that you left them for something that you felt like was better. If you guys were the ones that left because this energy can go vice versa. But um, there's a lot of things that they still don't know. They have mixed feelings about, um, about, about you guys still. There's still a lot of love here. But somebody walked away from this connection. And I feel like, you know, that the reason why the other person walked away is still in question here. And I think they think it's mostly to do with someone else. Like you guys left to, you know, start a new relationship or, you know, be with someone else. You know, go out, maybe get attention from just people in general. Just wanted to be single and hang out. So it's kind of up in the air how they feel about getting back together. I think if there was some clarity here, if you guys had a conversation, I think you um, could, you know, be able to discern whether or not um, this was going to be something that was positive would be positive for you guys okay let's see what you guys can do to increase your chances here hmm. i think it's to realize that both of you had a stake in why this relationship ended okay because in the three of swords you know you have your stake you have your say you have how you feel about the situation but they also have you know their stake in this too and how they felt that they may have been um, betrayed or disappointed, hurt by whatever happened here. But then you have the sword going down the middle. This is a sword of truth. This is what actually happened, okay, from both sides. So I think it's just to realize that, um, that both of you are hurt in this situation and that it needs to be healed. This situation needs to be talked out and healed, okay, whatever it is. Okay, let's see what they can do to increase the chances of you guys getting back together here. I think this is to tell the truth. I think it's not to be aggressive, maybe not to um, come in like really rushed, um, but I think there is some clarity that needs to, that needs to happen here. I think they need to be forthcoming with whatever um, information they they want to convey to you, um, whatever questions they have. I think, you know, there's just a need to communicate, basically. Communicate about what happened between the two of you. Clear some things up here, okay? Talk about the things that maybe, um, talk about why you guys broke up to begin with. You know what can be changed here okay so let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys here oh wow okay the star I didn't pull it it jumped out the star your paths are leading leading you um, back together actually okay and this is like star cross lovers here I feel like, um, and Aries got this too. So it may be an Aries um, that you guys are dealing with. Does not have to be, but this is Aquarius, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo energy, uh, Gemini here, and Scorpio energy. Okay, but I feel like you, you guys were set on this path together. There's a reason why you were with this person. Okay, there's a reason why. Um, the circumstances happen the way that they did and I feel like it's to it's for you guys to purge whatever whatever insecurities whatever um, you know issues that you guys held deep down inside is for you guys to purge and to you know heal from whatever things that you know brought you such fear and such sorrow before in the past and I feel like this person this is this is this was your path. I feel like this is your destiny here. So I do feel like whatever's going on between the two of you, I feel like both of you are probably doing your work, trying to anyway. Um, maybe you guys are a little further advanced. I'm not really sure. I can't really tell in depth. But I do know that both of you are in the process of healing. But I think in order for the healing to um, be complete then I think there's a conversation that you guys need to have. I really feel like there's unfinished business right here, okay? 
And then I feel like this could definitely happen between the two of you. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you, my Taurus friends. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.